I'm Rachel here with Rosalia Project in French Borough, Long Island. We've got our whole team of interns and crew, including Smudge and Hickory, and we've been cleaning up this island for two days. Ah, so ah gross. So we are in Maine, and Maine is the northeasternmost state in the U.S., and it's a very rocky coast. We've been able to do a lot of the um, trash that's on top of the rocks. But there have been many times where, you know, we, we see it, but we can't necessarily reach down to be able to grab it. You guys have cranked today. None of this has been counted. So what would be helpful is, you know, count how many bottles and then tell me. Perfect. We cleaned up 2,450 pieces of trash from three rocky beaches. Our top 10 items were Number 1. Buoys and floats. We found 561 buoys and parts of buoys, which made up 23% of all the items we picked up. Number 2. Foam pieces. Number 3. Rope. Number 4. Plastic bottles. Number 5. Plastic pieces. Number 6 bleach and cleaner bottles. Number seven, plates, cups, and utensils. Number eight, derelict lobster traps and trap parts. Number nine, oil and lube bottles. And number 10, food wrappers and containers. So as you just heard, most of the trash we've been finding here in Frenchboro is fishing debris. And the other thing we've been finding a lot of is beverage bottles. It's really disgusting and it's actually really sad because a lot of the stuff we're finding, especially the Clorox bottles from the fishing industry, the oil and lube bottles, the buckets of hydraulic fluid, and most disgustingly, bottles of pee, all of that ended up in the ocean intentionally. That wasn't accidentally lost due to storms or traps being run over. So that's really disappointing, but if it wasn't an accident that it got out there, that means that it's preventable. So that's why Rosalia Project is working from multiple angles. Sometimes it can be prevented, sometimes it just needs to get cleaned up. So we're gonna keep working on it. Anybody want to drink a moxie? <laughs>